The National Flight Nurse Academy specializes in preparing flight nurses to assess, treat, and prepare patients for air medical transport. In addition to preparing acute care nurse practitioner students to work in unstructured environments, the National Flight Nurse Academy conducts research for evidence-based practice in air medical services. This research is put to the test during the National Flight Nurse Academy annual summer camp. The summer camp is a front-loading educational opportunity for our incoming graduate students. Originally I did come out for a uh, flight camp only just for the uh, week of events. I really enjoyed the focus, the experiences, the disaster drill, and, and just the general quality of knowledge. It made me want to uh, pursue advanced practice in flight nursing. The Flight Nurse Academy kind of found me. I was transitioning from my practice in emergency nursing into critical care transport. I really feel that there's more than we can give and, and connect these patients from other hospitals, outside of hospitals, across the nation and across the world. We intentionally don't introduce each other with their backgrounds and skill levels. We want everybody to feel like they're on the same level and can kind of ease them into a more comfortable level. By midweek and certainly by the last day, you've become a group of people who practice together. And as you go through the scenarios throughout the week, and you start to rely on each other and you get comfortable with each other, and everybody realizes that this is an open learning environment, that this is a, a safe learning environment to be able to learn and explore, and this is the purpose of being here, that camaraderie really starts to come out. And by the end of the week, uh, we're all great friends, and we certainly keep in contact. Everybody's already exchanging emails and addresses so we can keep keep contact. And that ability to communicate and pick up the nonverbal cues from your from your partners is, uh, is critical when you're taking care of people. Camaraderie, participation, and networking are key ingredients to a successful summer camp. To get to participate as well as to network with the other individuals, the other flight nurses and transport nurses and students who are looking to, to expand their knowledge to get involved. And so not only do I hopefully impart some knowledge on them through my participation, but I also always come away with, with new and refreshed ideas of how to do things. In order to be successful, you have to be able to bond with people and work with others, uh, especially when you're doing transport, because there's a limited number of you there. We try to get everybody to go out and have some extracurricular fun you know, go out and enjoy yourselves. So when you're in class, you know, you know these people. These are people that you've kind of hung out with a little bit. And also, you know, as you're sitting through class, you kind of get a feel for them professionally. And, you know, when it comes to a disaster drill, they, they know the person that they're asking to help me innovate this patient, help me do this. And it, it, it's really beneficial. There's a, a growing need for nurse practitioners and, and Case Western has found a, a very unique niche that they can develop and expand upon and they're constantly looking to partner with other uh, universities and institutions. This particular year is uh, uh, our opportunity to present the National Flight Nurse Academy Summer Camp with Achi Medical University School of Nursing in uh, Nagoya, Japan. This was a uh, university that's partnered with Case Western Reserve and the Francis Payne Bolton School of Nursing to offer the Acute Care Nurse Practitioner Flight Nursing Subspecialty Program at their university. So the summer camp this year, 2008, is an uh, international initiative um, that has allowed us the opportunity and really, frankly, the privilege to change the way nursing and healthcare is delivered across the globe. I think that Case's flight nursing summer camp is fantastic because both Mr. Chris Minacci and myself are collaborating to establish an educational program for Japanese emergency nurses. Flight nursing is especially important in that according to emergency and critical care nurses, it is virtually the only kind of nursing that takes place in real time at the actual location. This program is a wonderful demonstration of this advanced level of nursing practice, and its way of thinking was what guided me to experience it personally. We can effectively protect the patient only when we are able to practice in the best and safest way. The nursing practice demonstrated by this program shows us how far we must consider those issues. From now on in Japan, there will be a growing demand from flight nurses for these practices.
The participants and lecturers discuss topics while solving problems, and this is a good model for us. I was really searching for this, and I finally found it here. I definitely want to use my experience here in Japan. On the final day of summer camp, students participated in a phosgene gas disaster drill. Our program trains people to practice in unstructured environments. So in order to do that, we need to create it. I wanted to um, incorporate a uh, medical disaster here at the farm, and I wanted to use uh, as much of this natural environment as I could so that we would have um, a disaster drill that was plausible out here at the farm um, with the amount of patients that we had, but at the same time it would still be a disaster drill that overwhelmed the students and made them have to do some different triage and sort of face some transport decisions and, and think a little critically. And the triage officer is dealt uh, the responsibility to see patients initially and make a very brief determination as to what their acuity is and then route that patient to a level of high care, intermediate care, or low care. It's more than just talking about something or maybe just going through the motions. You're working with your team, you're thinking, you're talking, collaboratively working together. I found the case students uh, were generally the best prepared and ready to practice. It was uh, much easier to get them oriented to the critical care environment than it was people that had different uh, educational experiences. It, it really makes it much easier to transition into a role if you've not been in that role yet. And that's what a lot of this simulation is, is to task saturate the students to keep giving them more and more stimulation from either patient scenarios, noise, smoke, and then see how they can take a step back, form a plan, and then set that plan into motion. And I see a lot of simulators whether it was a mass casualty from a, an airplane crash or it was a phosgene gas release, there's still that need to try to get control of a very chaotic situation, create a plan, and execute that plan. Not every patient's the same, so everybody takes something from one another, and that's what's great about pulling from different expertise levels, different skill levels, different uh, programs from different areas. It's, uh, it, it makes it worth it. I wish we had this kind of environment in Japan. Even though we don't, coming here, I found new ways to do things. I think it will improve things in our industry. It gives the opportunity for people to grow in terms of their own clinical practice. In Japan, we are not yet able to have this kind of experience, but it's been a lot of fun and I've learned a lot.